Because I always go to rebellion. You know? But what is your alternative? You have to have something good to replace it. Just like Jamaicans have one of the, mo the most slave rebellions in the history of slavery. You know? Because the Maroon fought an 84 year war, 84 year straight war, Maroon fight, for, to free themselves and to get rid of colonialism. So people are relaxed, but there's a different kind of war, you know, a cultural war in the country. Jamaicans are rebellious people in nature. And Jamaicans are talented people. As you can see in, 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 in sports, Jamaicans will come on top, you know, disregarding the circumstances. Because we still have to mention Usain Bolt, what he achieved, within such a short time. He's 100% Jamaican. You have to look at Marcus Garvey. You have to look at Bob Marley. You get me? You have to look at Harry Belafonte. Although he's born Jamaican, he's American. But you have to look at the talents of Jamaican who, can, who will come up at any given time, you know. But you'll have a rebel side of Jamaicans now who will protest and rebel and revolt. But you'll have another side of Jamaica who say, Chow, I'm not in for that. I'm pursuing excellence and that's my goal. So you'll have a Jamaica who just pops right up, right at the top and climb above everybody and say, yes. Oh, what we never hear? Oh, what happened to this Jamaica? Why these people keep coming up? Why is that? <clears throat> Why is that? What's that about where <clears throat> with Jamaicans? Like they kind of, anywhere, anywhere you go, it's like they deal with progress. Because is where they come from, from Africa, you know. The English did not realize that the Akan people were, 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 were fighters, you know, were captured, you know. They were soldiers of war who, who another African tribe captured them and sold them to the English. So when they came here, they were 100% militant people. They were not soft, soft people who came here, you know. So we don't know how deep our blood run with these African warriors who can flex at any level of brilliance, of academia, and of militancy, you know, who will not tolerate, who will be easy to get pissed off at any given time. <laughs> but as a Jamaican, it's nice to see you, then you know, get well pissed, you know, and you can, go, you can react at any given angle at any given time. Because Jamaicans have a short fuse, and Jamaicans are very loving. You don't know what you will do, but if you know him enough, you can predict him. So that's the revolution in the nature of Jamaica. Because remember that the slave bloodline still exists, you know. And the, we still have the Kumina, you know. We still have the Mayal. We still have the Dinky Minis. We still have the Gera, you know. Those are African 100% traditions. No matter how from the uh, 15 or, or, or 9, you know, it come right down to now. So you find, say, it's like a DNA. You can't get rid of it. It's there. So you don't want the generation you can pops up into. Those people retain the Africanness, show their life to their children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. But a Jamaican will tell you that he's not going to Africa. He's Jamaican. But you can see the Africanness in him, in his activities, on talk, on walk, on look. But he's not conscious of it, you know. But it's there. <laughs> Until he wake up and say, yo, no, 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 Africa. But the pictures of Africa which is given to him, he's not excited to go. Because he don't learn enough about Africa. But he have African traditional practices here. Which is good. Yeah. <laughs> so, with Jamaicans now, right? Mm -hmm. All right. The Akan people, they were industrious people, they were entrepreneur people. Because I, I was reading the book about the Maroons. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know this, but I was reading how they were trading guns with, um, I don't know, some, I don't know if it's people from Cuba. They were trading guns with anybody, but they were they, they were very industrious people. Because yeah. they just tried to present them like they were up in the bush fighting. But no, they were like, they had a whole thing going on, you know? They have a whole community. Yeah. Okay. You love to look at people who love the forest and the jungle. Whichever circumstance you put them, they will survive. Because they live by nature. They can find plants, they can find medicine, they can find the healing waters of the spring, they can find the mineral baths, the natural volcanic baths they can find. 
So you look at people who will sleep outside, sleep in the rain, build a tent and build a hut, and they live. So nature, nature protect them. So if even you in your big house, you'll sleep, you know, but they don't have to sleep. Because they know what to do. See? So you're looking at people who can survive ages and ages and time, but they keep it to themselves. They keep a bond within themselves and they keep their history among themselves. So the more you go among them, the more you learn about them. But it's in our bloodline the same way. Yes. We can connect to it, but maybe not as quick because we don't have the direct teachings from them. Exactly. Thank you so much for watching. I never knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like, share.